Today you are going to create an artwork based on artist Jen Stark and her drip designs. With a blank sheet of paper, prepare by folding it in half, creating a crease in the middle of the paper, then unfold and flatten out the piece of paper. With your paper now evenly divided in half, using a pencil, draw your selected subject. Notice how I'm placing it on the left side of my paper. Keep your pencil lines light. That way, if you make any mistakes, you can go in and erase easily. You may choose to free draw like I am in this demonstration or trace an image using a resource from the internet. Once you are happy with your image, take your pencil and push very hard, retracing your design and darkening the lines. Fold the paper back in half. If you look closely, you should be able to see your drawing very lightly through the paper. Pushing very hard with your pencil, trace right on top of the design that you see. This is going to copy your image on the right hand side of your paper, creating a mirrored image. In order for this to work, you must make sure that you are tracing right on top of your design. Once you finish tracing your design, open the paper back up. You now have your two subjects mirrored on your paper. Take a Sharpie marker and trace both of your subjects. Now it's time to add the drip designs to your artwork. Starting on the left hand side of your paper, place a drip design behind your subject, filling in the background. In my case, my drips appear to be behind my paw print. If you are unsure about how to draw a drip pattern, please practice on a scrap paper first. Refer to the Google Classroom assignment for further help and assistance with how to complete this step if needed. On the right side of the paper, please place drip patterns within your subject, leaving the background blank. Using a black Sharpie marker, please trace your drip pattern by outlining your entire design with Sharpie marker, it really makes everything pop. Clean up the image with an eraser as needed. You are now ready to color in your project. Using colorful markers, carefully color in your drip design. To keep myself organized, I decided to start on the left-hand side of my paper first. Remember, on the left side of the paper, you are only coloring in the background behind your subject. The colorful lines should follow along the shape of your drip, making a concentric pattern. You'll notice there are really no gaps of white paper showing during this process. That's on purpose, copying the style of Jen Stark as closely as possible. If you are unsure about what colors you would like to use, Refer to her artwork for some ideas. This step of the project takes quite a bit of time, so take breaks as often as you need to. Once you have completed coloring on the left-hand side of your paper, Move on to the right-hand side, focusing on the drip pattern within your subject. finished your artwork, please take a photo and publish to Artsonia under Jen Stark Drip Art. Then, within Google Classroom, mark the assignment as turned in. <music>